Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make Future House. But since this video is sponsored by Team MBL or Music by Lucas, as you know him by his YouTube channel, they hooked me up with their preset pack for Serum, so I'm mostly gonna be using their sounds. So anyways, let's get started. So let's set the BPM to 126. You can go anywhere from 120 to 128, but 126 works pretty well. So first, let's start with the drum beat. Also, I enabled the swing, which makes some notes a little bit off beat, which makes everything kind of groovier. I will show you the difference it makes later in this tutorial. So yeah, let's set up a basic drum beat. I'm using uh, this kick, this clap, and this hi-hat. And we're gonna just set up the most basic drum beat ever. Just uh, fill each four steps and add the hi-hat on off beat and add the clap on every second step. And it sounds like this. Really basic, but it works. And let's actually put that in the playlist and make unique. And just delete the hi-hat. So in the first part of the drop, we're gonna have the kick with the clap. And in the second part, we're gonna add the hi-hats. That way the drop kind of progresses and evolves as we go. I'm also gonna add this uh, loop for the hi-hats. Also in the second part of the drop. And so the drums sound like this. So yeah, it's pretty basic stuff, but it works well. Now let's go and create the bass melody. So I'm gonna start off with this sound from the Team MBL preset pack, and it's called Fundamentals. Pretty basic, like clicky bass, and it works really well. So let's start by creating a melody with this bass. So open up Piano Roll and pick a note. So yeah, when I'm creating the melody, I first imagine it in my head and then I try to remake it in the piano roll. I know this is not uh, something everyone can do right away, but if you practice enough, I think it's not that hard. And let me show you what the swing function does. If we turn it off, then these three notes won't be as groovy. They will just come one after another and it won't sound as good as with the swing. So this is how it sounds without the swing. And this is when we add the swing. As you can hear, the last three notes are just kind of offbeat, but it makes it really nice. It creates this shuffle feeling. So this is the first part of the melody, now let's copy it and uh, create some variation in the second repetition. Just so the melody doesn't repeat itself constantly, all it takes is to change one note and you will have this variation, so people know this is the second time the melody is repeating. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for the melody. As far as the effects on this sound, I'm using some EQ to delete the low frequencies because we're gonna have the sub bass for those. And I also just boosted a little bit around here just so it has a little bit more power. I am also using Sound Goodizer, again, just to give it a little bit more power and compression. And also this sound is sidechained. That means every time the kick will hit, the sound will get lower in the volume. I got tutorial for sidechaining. Check out the link in the description. Now for the second layer of the bass, I'm using this preset which is a more dirty bass that will add some nice uh, frequencies to the other sound. So let's just copy this melody, click on the sound, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. So pretty much the same melody, together they sound like this. For the bass still. Now for the third layer of sounds, we are still working with the bass and it's this sound which is called layer up, which kind of makes sense. It's basically white noise. And this will add this click on the beginning of the bass. So let's copy the notes again and paste them right here. And now it sounds like this. So yeah, that just gives this uh, bass a little bit of a click on the beginning, which will make it more obvious in the song. And now for the fourth layer, it's the sub bass, of course. I'm using this sub bass also from the pack. Really basic, but it works. So yeah, copy the notes again and paste them in the sub bass, but go to piano roll and put it octave down. You can hold control and arrow down and that will put it octave down. 
And as far as the effects on the sub base, there is only sign chaining on it. So no effects there, but don't forget to sign chain it so it doesn't overlap with the kick. So now put it in the playlist and together it sounds like this. So yeah, pretty nice so far, but we are gonna add more sounds to make this better. So the next sound will be piano, and I'm using piano from Nexus, because you can't really recreate a real piano in Serum, so I'm using Nexus for this sound, and it's the Future House Piano Layer 1. And so, just copy the notes again from the bass sound, and let's create a new pattern, and paste the notes to the Nexus, and also put them octave higher, or two octaves. And yeah, what we are gonna do now is create a chord for each note. So if you don't know how to create chords, you can just Google a chord for each note, or you can go to stem tool and just choose major or minor chords and it will create them automatically for you. But if you want, you can do it manually as well. One simple tip if you are creating chords, is basically when you wanna create a chord, you choose the first note, you skip two notes, then the next one will be there, and then you skip three notes, and then it's the next one. And that's a minor chord right there. So just remember skip two and then three and you pretty much have the chord ready. And if you want to make a major chord, you just put the middle note up by one. But we're gonna create minor chords here, so... Now just do the rest of the notes, which can seem like a lot of work, but it will be pretty fast. And you can just copy them as well. If there are And yeah, once the chords are ready, another thing we can do is uh, put some of the notes octave up. Like this chord right here is pretty low. So just select the middle note, hold control, arrow up. And also these notes. And yeah, the chords are pretty much ready. They look like a mess, but it sounds good, so no problem there. Now for the effects on the piano, I actually deleted the low frequencies again. I cut them even more than the bass, and I boosted the high frequencies because I really like the high frequencies of the piano. So that sounds really nice. And also it is sign chained, so every time the kick hits, the volume of the piano is lowered. Now let's add that to the playlist as well. And now it sounds like this. So now we have a pretty good bass for the drop. But I'm gonna add one more melody that is not going to follow the bass at all. So it's kind of like a counter melody. And for that melody I'm using this sound. Also from the Team MBL sound pack. This is actually a vocal shot, so I really like this one. So let's create a new pattern and add the melody in the playlist already, even though we have nothing there. But I'm gonna create the melody while playing the song, so it's easier. So yeah, let's go to piano roll and let's just play the song. So what I would usually do is uh, play the song and again just imagine what kind of melody would fit there and then just recreate the melody in the piano roll. Since you are playing the song along with the melody, you cannot really go wrong with the notes. So you can tell which note is out of harmony or doesn't fit there and which ones are good. So yeah, just play the song along with creating the melody and let's see what we can make. And we have the first part of the melody ready. So again, now copy the melody and make slight adjustments so it just doesn't repeat twice and you have some closure in the melody. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And for the effects on the sound of the melody, we have uh, some reverb, which gives it more atmosphere in the track. I also added sound goodizer just to enhance the upper frequencies. I also added stereo shaper with this preset which makes it wider in the mix. And also I deleted the low frequencies and boosted some of the high frequencies as well. And yeah, together it sounds like this. Now mostly what we need to do is figure out some details and things to make this more interesting. So let's add some effects as well. This down sweep and also a crash and just copy them right there. And also to make it a little bit more interesting, we can delete the drums right here. And let's actually edit the start of the second part of the drop. Let's delete all the first notes. 
And also, let's make unique. Yeah, and just add one more kick. Yeah, and that, that will just create a really nice effect. So yeah, it's a really small detail, but it just makes everything a little bit more interesting. For the end of the drop, let's add this uh, riser, this impact sound. And this is where your breakdown would start. And I actually just created this little piano in the breakdown. But yeah, this is the finished result of the tutorial. Anyways, that's the full song. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And big thanks goes to Team MBL for sponsoring this video and making this great pack. Yeah, if you wanna buy this pack, link is in the description. It actually just costs like 10 bucks or something, so, so anyone can afford it. And it has some great sounds as you can hear in this song, I hope. And hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and go check out the pack right now. Or don't. It's up to you.